Hello everyone, I'm your hostess, Lady Lincario, and welcome to One Shot, a game that must be played only once, hence the name, and can't be replayed without doing a few things, manipulation of the save data, or playing on a different Steam account. There's also a catch to this whole thing. This is no ordinary playthrough of the game. This is actually a fandom tribute with contributions from some of my friends in order to celebrate the game's 10th anniversary on Steam. And today, I have a guest to help me set this up in a certain way to record the game without making a mess of things, because it can be very easy to do so as that certain someone will know all too much about. Scatlink Sean, take it away. Hi guys, uh, Scatlink here, and yes, this game isn't really just a game. To put it simply, it's an experience. There's no fourth wall if you like that sort of thing, if you like Undertale, you like this sort of thing. We did a voice dub on that for the, that game's first anniversary and i have done one shot as well and uh yeah the thing that uh Mikario was on about uh i had two scenes set up in my screen recording software but i kept forgetting to swap the screens and if stuff happens outside the game window which can happen you can mess stuff up like you could miss bits so that is a bit of a problem of which uh should be completely eliminated here because we're just capturing the full screen yeah, well, obviously, I'll zoom into the game when we're actually playing and then take it out of the thing. So it's obviously more editing for me. But at the same time, if it's a, if it's a game I like, then I don't mind the editing because I'm quite good at it and I know that I'm good at it. I don't like the editing much, but it depends on the game. When I was uh, doing my project, I had to actually zoom into the like the actual window edit it that way because i kept forgetting to zoom it back in but that was also easy to zoom it back out and when playing the capturing the game in full screen it looked the same anyway so it could all just be done in editing i was trying to be fancy and trying to do it better but i kind of screwed up at the very end and that really made me mad because i had to spend extra time editing it to replicate what i saw uh hopefully that's not too much spoilers but you get what i mean i had to fix things myself yeah make sure you check out skeleton sean's channel uh <coughs> One shot, let's play as well, so... Oh! And never hit that X button! Nope. Unless you're absolutely, specifically told to do so. Technically you can, on the Steam version, but, um, and there is an achievement tied to that, but if you're playing the original, uh, RPG Maker, uh, version, that is not tied to Steam, and, by the way, that's not the full, finished version, actually, because you'll see later on, um, don't hit that X button. Just don't. <laughs> Avoid it like the plague unless you're absolutely specified. <laughs> Don't. You'll, you'll kill the game. Thing is, not only this game is not just an ordinary game, like we've stressed enough before. It's an experience, dang it. It's like an AI sort of thing. Yeah, it's AI. You'll find that you, out. You will we definitely should, find that We should that probably out. stop discussing it, like, <laughs> dropping spoiler bombs. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> it's complicated. Can we just hit the start? I mean, you can. Well... Here goes nothing! And dedicated to our brother friend Felix, the judge, will we miss you? I mean, I don't know who this is, but yeah, rest in peace. Maybe the creator's pet passed away, I'm not too sure, during creation. I don't know. I don't know whether it's a pet or whether it's actually a person, I don't know. I assume Felix because it's just a pet, sort of pet name. I don't know. Well, Felix is like, well, there's a cat on the screen as well, so I would assume that. So that makes sense. This game's got heavy cat under a cat undertones. <laughs> oh, yeah, as you can see by the... Uh... I think that might be the reason. Like, there may be a little bit of a uh, design choice in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. Yep, there we go. The controls. So you got examine, uh, select, which is... Um, well, obviously, there's, con there's controls for... Um, a controller and you also got controls for uh, the keyboard and so far um, there's quite a simple control so I'm just going to do it on keyboard just for the simplicity of it. So obviously... Also this game is PC only yes. and there's a very obvious reason why it cannot be replicated on a console for certain reasons. Oh yeah definitely yeah you we'll find we'll get into that at some at point but just obviously foreshadowing the entire thing now but let's continue so we got <laughs> x uh, sorry we, yeah foreshadowing yeah so we got z which is confirm x is cancel you got the walk with the yellow keys that's fair that's makes sense walk faster with shift but i actually have do i have did i actually set auto run on you did you went to options and turned that on yeah i'm not quite sure All if it's the saved. setup i'm not quite sure if it saved my settings but never mind i'll find that out in a minute anyway menu is a uh, let me just try and get con the controls properly so 
menus A, inventory is S, so it's the X, it's basically like a six sort of, is it six? No, just four. Just four. four. Yeah. Think of it like a Super Nintendo controller. Yeah, inventory is S. What was C <clears> again? <throat> I can't remember. Never mind. C is to dequip. Ah, dequip. That's the one. And then configure like controls have, is F. Yeah, so if, yeah, so if I get stuck with the controls, I just click F1. That's fair. And then full screen, which I'm not going to do for the entire playthrough because of reasons, I'm not going to press F8. This is the only size for the game. You can't increase the resolution. There's, nope. That's also a very specific reason why. Yeah. So you either have this or full screen, but you will not experience it fully if you're in full screen mode. So yeah, that's a thing. The game can also kick you out of full screen mode when stuff happens. Also, <clears throat> gameplay. Explore and interact with the environment and characters. Sometimes you may find an item. Once you have picked up an item, you have, may select it from the inventory. Uh, when the item is active, you can either combine it with other items in the inventory or use it to at certain locations in order to progress. Big hints there. Uh, although full screen is an option, the game is best experienced in windowed mode. Yes, we have said that countless yep, times. we specified that. Closing the game will save your progress with, obviously, Steam version. This game also auto-saves after some key events. Let's go. Look at those uh, bright yellow eyes. Looked a bit weird. <laughs> yeah. He hello? Okay, I think, yeah, we have control. Okay, so what we got here, we can go into this uh, bathroom by the looks of it. Oh yeah, enter button is also the... Okay, enter buttons is... Yeah, enter is like another option for accessing your menu, and I think space is another confirm button. Ah, right. So if you want to whack that big old bar... Yeah, oh, that right. makes it easier. Right, it makes it easier. Okay, so I can just hover the space and X button, I suppose I can. A pair of luminous yellow eyes stare back at Nico. Nico! Is that the name of uh, this character, I suppose? Must be. Thank you, game. There's no water Also, in... why was the yellow in yellow? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> There's no water in the... Yeah, no water in the toilet. And then we've got no tub won't run. That's fair. Let's look we at this. We need to fix the plumbing. A withered... W a withered plant sits here, stiff and dry. A branch snaps off. Oh, okay. That must mean we've got an item. Uh, I think we've got... No, that's wrong. Uh, menu. That's it, dry branch. And I think it's S, no. How do you equip? I think you press the same button again. It's come on. No, I don't. Um, Maybe something you can't... Oh, it's Z. Okay, it's Z. And then C to de-equip. Okay, fair. So I need to get used to the controls. <laughs> so then press C and then S, yeah, S and then C. Sorry, C equips. Let's have a look at this. What this is? It's a TV remote here. Okay. Um. Okay, so it's dark in this room. So, oh, keep pressing that button. Dusty books. It's too dark to read in here. Yeah. Okay. So fair enough. There's a light source here. Let's do this. Soft glowing light trickles through the window. Yeah, that's fair. Let's bring up the television remote. I have to keep pressing buttons. Oh, yeah. You've decoyed it. I know. <laughs> and then you check the glass. Right, so Z, S, and then press space. Uh, in the faint light, Nico can glimpse the, f the face of the remote. All the numbers except 2, 3, 5, and 7 are missing. Hmm. So, also color-coded. Also color-coded, so keep in mind, so red 2, yellow 3, blue 5, green 7, so blue, yellow, no, red. There's an Uno hand in this remote. <laughs> right, so red, yellow, blue, green, 2, five, two three, five, seven. Actually, other than the 2, it's all um, odd numbers, so I'll try to remember that. So, if I press that, they're marked in bright colours. Well, duh. And let's try. Yep, the door is locked. Let's have a go. See, see what this does. Oh, input. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, it's that way. 
So the two was red. The need the bomber's code. What was the green? That was seven, wasn't it? Seven, yeah. And that was five. I'm your resident technician. <laughs> Excess granted. Oh, hello. It looks very old PC, though. It's probably so it can be compatible. You found me. Why? You're already too late. Not much of the world remains. This will be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. Do you still want to try? Then, remember this. Your actions here will affect Nico. Nico? Hmm, interesting. Instead of saying the actions here will affect... Instead of saying me, it says Nico? Weird. Seems like Nico's not you. You no. or you. I may be controlling Nico, but it's clearly Nico's not me, so... Weird. Are you not guiding Nico? Don't know. Food for four. <laughs> Your mission is to help Nico leave. Help Nico leave? Why is the computer telling you this? Yeah, exactly. And most importantly, you only have one shot, Georgina. Oh! Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> it has my real name. It broke the game and popped in your own. <laughs> it computer. has it has broke the game. <laughs> it has broke through the fourth walls of the game. They this game has no fourth wall. Mm. Nico hears the sound of a door unlocking. That must be that door. But what does the bed do? Nico just woke up here. Okay, pff, okay whatever. Hello, a anyone? Okay, what a creepy looking derelict house by the looks of it. Yeah, with no plumbing. Hmm. The TV gives off a dangerous looking spark. So, wait, that means Nico wasn't actually here. They just got plopped into that bed for some reason. Yeah. Weird. Um. Let's just have a look around the room, I suppose. The sink won't turn on. I see. The sink won't turn on last. Just the table. Let's have a check the fridge. Inside the refrigerator is a bottle of alcohol. How oh. old is Nico? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nico takes it. Uh, wait, no, don't do don't that. Don't you take No. <laughs> Put ne that down. Nico. <laughs> How do you examine is it? No, it's not that. I don't, I don't think she can hear us at the moment. A smell of liquid is pungent. Re Repungent. Re Repungent. Repungent. I think it's repugnant. I don't know. Uh, a flaky drawing from a <laughs> bathroom plant. Okay. Let's it is repugnant. Repugnant. I have no idea According what that is. According to Google. Uh, it's probably like a whew kind of smell. <laughs> okay, it looks like a keyhole. What's the definition? Extremely distasteful. Full, uh, unacceptable. So yeah, it's probably a foul-smelling alcohol. Yeah, it's probably what that type of ethanol where it's hundred percent. Oh, so I can't. Nico can't go. Okay, I have to stop saying me and, and not Nico. <laughs> Nico can't. It go ain't you. We've already established. Yeah, we've that. already established that. Uh, Nico can't go through that door, so we must do something. So I assume there's a spark over here, and. We've just got a dry branch and there's alcohol, so I assume we might have to... I mean, it did say you can combine items, so let's try this. There you are. Nico dips the branch into the alcohol. It, uh, oh. Lubed it up. Well, I've just got an empty bottle and now a wet branch. The tip of the branch is soaked with alcohol. The smell of alcohol lingers. Ugh. Well, I assume if we've got a spark here, then we just use that and then... <laughs> Who yes. Uh, it's a oh. blue flame, the hottest of gives flames. Off, doesn't give off much light. Hmm. And I just decrypt it, damn it. There you go. So I assume we just like this. Oh, hello. Blue fire. It's sparkly. Sparkles. Something on the ground glimmers in the firelight. It appears to be a small metallic object wedged in the crack of the floor. 
Nico digs it out. And that's a basement key. It looks like a very weird key. I mean, an old key. I mean, look at how run down this place is. Oh, okay, yep. I assume that's the only place. Ooh. Oh, God. I don't think I triggered... You're not going through the Delta Room closet, are you? Hang on, let me just check something here. And I can say that because the Delta Room Chapter 1 is free. And it's extremely early on. Default movement run? What? Wow! I was going so damn close. <laughs> to the... Close? Uh, close? Uh, oh, I was running too fast. Uh, too slow, sorry. Words! <laughs> Okay, a very ominous looking light bulb. Like from the title screen. Uh... Oh! Blinded my eyes! Cataracts! <laughs> Quite a nice little tune right there. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> divine. Sound design in this game is just so ethereal. I know. I will admit, I'm going to try and avoid spoiling as much as possible. <laughs> yep. So I assume the only other way out, I mean, we can go back to that ominous looking bedroom if you really wanted. Actually, you have a light now. You could probably check the books. That's a thing. Ad infinitum. Hmm. That's it. Latin. You could probably look that up as well. I think I looked it up when I was watching your one-shot Let's Play. I think it just means infant. So, okay. So, I, mu I must do something with this. So I assume it's light bulb shaped, so maybe... Ah, here Stick we go. Stick it in the whole thing. A large light bulb. It's the sun. What? Ah. Uh. <laughs> the sun. <laughs> okay, let's... let's just... Okay, that works. <laughs> What? Ah, again! Blinded! My eyes! Oh god, those, ah, wait, wait. those noises! What the heck is going on? Uh, Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? I was just in a house? Why have I just been TP to. I... Well, I would have said TP to a TP, but you're not in a TP. It's not a TP. It looks like. <laughs> oh! You're on the moon. It does look like a, it. Does seem to be. Of a long tower in the distance. That you can't even see the top. Oh. Hello. Fast there. travel. You can quickly travel to locations you have already visited by selecting the fast travel option in the menu. Um, the default key for opening the menu is A. Okay. Fast travel cannot be used indoors. That's basic stuff. So yeah, there we go. You so you've came got out of a train. Yeah, it looks like a train or a tram car. Okay, the, apparently this case is called the Barons. So, yeah. Oh, look at those footprints. Look at those footprints. Some deep soot. A robot. It no longer has power. Oh. Do you know what? It gives me vibes from those robots from Skyward Sword. <laughs> oh, God, the music. Oh, God. Listen oh. to that music. That sweet, sweet music. Unfortunately, Let's Sean not cannot hear it. Them to the robot of <laughs> Sorry. Let's not compare them to the robots of Skeleton Sword, please. No. <laughs> you will start to trigger me again. <laughs> or a certain Viking. That's all right. Oh, another tram car. Oh, okay. I see a bed. What's what's that for? I uh, I'm gonna say. Oh, okay. This bed looks properly look. Probably looks familiar to you. Nico first woke up in this world here. It's important that you wait, allow Nico to sleep in... Sleep was... Yeah, once in a while. The game will exit automatically in. Be continued later, don't be alarmed. But now is no time to rest. Okay, so it actually tells wait. me when... Why does the game say that that's when Nico woke up? You woke up in a house. I did. 
this isn't the same place, and this isn't even the same tram you came out of. No. And that distance between the two trams is quite the distance between the two trams, so that wouldn't even make sense in terms of a spatial mm. standpoint. So what the heck's going on? Well, I've just found a broken off section of railing. Oh, and Nico apparently takes it for some random reason. Go protect yourself. Go smack some people up. I swear to God, this, if this I game... I did mention the game was made in RPG Maker, so you might have to equip weapons at some point, but there's no status menu in the menu. Yeah. Oh, the air is... Oh, God. Unbreathable. Oh, dear. Okay, so Nico walks back. Nico had the right idea there. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this water. It smells funky. That looks so cool. Look at that. Question is, is that the underneath the water surface, or is that reflecting from above? I'm not quite sure, to be honest. Mm. I mean, I legit don't know. <laughs> oh, hello. Um, hello. Uh... <laughs> 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 nothing. <laughs> nothing doing. What do? Nothing. <laughs> what do? Okay, uh, hang on. Let me go try and go back up, actually. Is there anything else here other than that uh, person? Awkward moment. Robot? Whatever thing is. Toaster. Some more robots. There's the uh, car with that I think I started in. Is that the one I started in? Not you. Uh, not... Yeah, I'll say that a lot. <laughs> I need to say Nico. <laughs> Normal gaming like intentions, like yeah, you know, I'm, I'm too much in control. habit. Oh, there's a minecart here. Can I? No, I can't interact with that. Again, well, I. It wouldn't go very far. No, well, the tracks are sort of, you know. See, when I say when I say the word you, I mean you is in a plural sense. Mm -hmm. You and Nico. You both, yeah. We should I say we? That would make it so much easier. We. The royal we. No, just just we, as in me and Nico. What about me? Oh, hello. Just excluding me. Ah. Uh, who are you? Uh, Michael. Me. Mm, me. Yes. Welcome to our old friend. I'm assembled by a presence. Yes. Uh, thanks. Uh. Mm. Uh, Nico, you okay? S sorry, I I'm a little lost. Oh, right. Allow me to explain some things. I ask how you're working. I'm not sure. I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Oh. So you wake up in an unfamiliar dark location. Okay. I mean, that could be anywhere. <laughs> that could that could be anywhere. <laughs> Legit. Mm-hmm. This is my prophecy foretold, yes. Your prophecy? You must be one of ours, Robot. Yeah. You are the saviour we have been waiting for. You will be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. Ah, that sounds ominous. But then that computer did say the exact same thing? Weird. I mean, you picked up a pole, maybe you're going to start protecting the place. Um... I will now provide you with writing information. Please ask me anything. Ah, uh, well... Can you tell me about... Ooh, God, there's a, there's a bit of a choice here, so let's let's start with a... Let's just go down the list, I suppose. Can you tell me about this world? I'm not sure where I am exactly. I can't see too far off. Everything's so dark. Our world's not always this dim. Nor was it so broken. The time range for nobody, not even saviors. Ooh. That, that sounds bad. Our world is divided into three regions. We're on the fringe right now, the balance. It's how you see the distance from the our sun. So not like a normal sun then, or anything? No. I mean, 
I do get it how the fact that it said the light bulb is the sun, so maybe it's like some sort of really, really tall lighthouse. I mean, again, you couldn't see the top, so... Yeah, so... It might actually serve its purpose. Wait, hang on a minute, what are you holding? What, what is Nico holding right now? A light bulb. Well, yeah, but what did the, descript the game give the description of? It said it's the sun? It did say it's the sun. So... Hang on a minute. Like I said, it's like it, it to me. It seems like a ginormous, tall lighthouse that you have to sort of. I don't know. An absolute lamp. Absolute lamp. Yeah. It must be re one really powerful bowl, but at the moment, it's not very bright because I can hold it and it's not hot. And I don't know. It's weird. Well, ne Nico's holding it, but it's glowing without being plugged in. Yeah, that's very mysterious, isn't it? And it only activated once Nico picked it up as well. Then again, the robot also said Nico was some sort of messiah that's supposed to do something about this. Hmm. I feel like there's a lot of responsibility put on a little kid. Out of nowhere. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm lost. And it's like, you're the messiah! Out of nowhere. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit rude. Oh, so that's what the tool thing was. Let's get it further towards the centre. You'll cross the other regions. There should be a map submitted south post somewhere. Ooh. Pog. <laughs> Pog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try the next one. Nico was kind of making a pog face. Mm. Can you tell me about the light bulb? I found it in the house I woke up in. Within your hands is our new sun. Ooh, yes, uh, I think we already established that. Oh, you got something new in your inventory. I do. Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, inventory. Probably another trading card or something. Ooh, sunlight. Yeah. Look at that, baby. Probably because you uh, you inquired about the sun. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I don't think I have that one. <laughs> Can I have it? No. <laughs> no. Because normally they're randomly generated. Mm. Your son? Yes. Years ago, our baby son sat atop that tower and spilled his life onto the land. But one day, the light went out. Uh, broken bulb? Well, you have the replacement, replacement, I suppose. Nico has the replacement. Now I'm doing it. <laughs> Just say we. Oh. We. The world is still hanging on by a thread. The surface of this world is abundant with an element called phosphor. Phosphor? What the heck? Fortunately for us, this element stored light energy from our previous sun. Some sort of light giving spore? It's like it, phosphor sounds very similar to phosphorescence, perhaps? Well, yeah, I mean, it's like, I'm guessing, like, maybe whatever is this phosphor is basically providing whatever light is left. It probably, like, absorbs it hmm. and retains it. Okay. It's now our only source of illumination, but its energy is finite. Yeah. When the last of the light dies, our world will too. Oh, that's very dark. Mm. Yeah, this bulb's a big deal. Ah. Uh, uh. But now you are here with the new sun, all is well. You will need to restore it to the tower. That looks pretty far off. Yes, so begin your pilgrimage. Oh, we'll have to go on. Oh, I hate pilgrimages. You have to walk so goddamn far. You're behind a game screen. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the little guy. <laughs> Nico. <laughs> she's lost and she's. What's the. <laughs> I feel for your little feet. Oh, God. Little cat feet? Little cat feet. Also, the sun finds out, so be careful. Yep, that makes sense, because, I mean, mm. it's a lot, Bob. If the sun shatters, the world will end in an instant. Ah! That seems... Oh, that God, that, that definitely is a dark moment right there. <laughs> Basically like a bomb. Oh. Can you tell me about... Okay. Uh, let's try that one. 
the computer. In the house, I found this computer. It kept saying stuff like, your actions here will affect Nico. But I'm Nico. Are those messages meant for someone else? Hmm. I have to guess they might be trying to pass a message to Dina. Okay. I mean, the game broke the fourth wall earlier with your name in its own little message box. It did, so they keep mentioning... It was talking to you from within, and then it popped one message out of the box. Georgina? <coughs> that would be our card. I wouldn't say that I'm a god. I'm a normal person. Uh, no. Uh, goddess. Goddess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've got to use the right vernacular here, but still, that's a bit of a long shot, no offence. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not going into much religious stuff and stuff, but, I mean, God did create the Im um, image, like, from self, so maybe men and women, just, just a generic word for gods, like, gods Either and that, goddesses. it could just be describing, like, you may have... A godlike entity, I suppose. Yeah, basically. Maybe. Not like in a religious sense. No. If you are here, that means Gina is here also. So Gina will provide guidance for your journey. In fact, they already have. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Really? You've been found out, madam. <laughs> really, really? I haven't seen anyone, though. Have you not contacted Georgina yet? Uh, I don't think Nico has yet. Nope. I wasn't aware of your presence. Okay. Well, we'll just have to see. Let's just continue. Uh, I don't think so. Being the bringer of our son, you have the sacred ability to communicate directly with Georgina. Sacred ability? Oh god, I hate to think what's going to go on here. An ability that no one else possesses. Certainly not I. Please close your eyes and focus. All right. Hmm. Hello? Georgina, are you there? Hmm. Okay. She's talking to you. Don't leave her hanging. I could say that is not my name. It, it is your name. It is my name. Yes. Yeah. But obviously I don't have a choice much. I don't want to ruin the game, so that's my name. Don't wear it out. Don't wear it out. <laughs> oh, N nice to meet you, Georgina. My name is Nico. Also, I do like uh, the fact that the game no know already knows what your real name is. That's just so cool, because I don't even know where they get the name from. Probably just from your user name, like, when you log in. Maybe. Because, I mean, it's like... What was it like before but, uh, Windows 8 or 10? When you go to, like, my computer or something, it's normally, like, insert name here's computer. So it probably gets from that, like, documents or something. Yeah. Actually, you can name individual laptops as well. My previous laptop was actually named Serenade. This one's called Super Gamer. I don't know why. It's just... Well, obviously, it didn't think that one. It took your actual name. It took my actual name, which actually is quite funny. How the fact that it just knows your name automatically. This game just literally has no fourth wall. <laughs> it just broke through the walls of the game. So Probably I'm talking to Nico right now because she would probably be freaking out at what babble we are babbling. <laughs> I don't think she can actually... I don't... Wait, can she even hear me? I have no idea. No idea. I mean, she can't hear us right now, it seems. She has to focus at the moment until it becomes second nature, I guess. Mm. Uh, I actually heard someone. They said their name is Georgina. This is incredible. Do not be afraid to ask Georgina for assistance. Um, you telling me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're telling me I got to help Nico? I think, ah. Uh... I mean, you do have a bird's eye perspective. Yes. You're looking down upon the world, according to what the view we have. Hmm. Does make sense. You might see something that they can't. Hmm. You are the Messiah, after all. Can you tell me about... Okay, let's go to the last one, and then we can move on. Going home? Oh. I don't mean to be rude, but I... I'm not sure about this. I don't blame you. I still don't know how I got here. Hmm. Hmm. Looked a bit worried now. 
I was just with my mama a few hours ago. Oh. I snatched away from my mum. And now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Oh, no, please don't start crying, Oz. You missing is to say that loud. That rude? <laughs> this is what missing is about to tell you about our world. I'm not able to help you with my programming. I am sorry. Oh. He can be programmed with, like, apologies, but he can't be programmed to be sympathetic. <laughs> How picky and choosy. Uh, I think that's all I have to ask for now. Excellent. I wish you luck. For a second I tried moving, but I don't... I think it was still in a, a cutscene sort of thing. Yeah. So, okay, um, we've just been dumped in this sort of... barren wasteland? I don't know. Moon Basically. crater area? Let's just go I mean, in this apparently you're on the edge of the world, so... Yeah, so... Which technically makes a bit of sense. Me, we might not want to go as past, past this sort of, you know... But we can't go off the edge anyway, so... I, I, I think Nico would have the sensibility to not do that, because that <laughs> would mean they would get hurt, the bulb would go, and then the world would blow up. Yep, pretty much. So let's just... Uh, uh, the info dump. Let's just explore this building. Uh, There's a computer there. Yeah, let's just keep... Keep let's, away from that. For let's moment. not. Let's let's not. <laughs> okay. How about now? How about now? So there we go. Right. Oh. Oh. There we okay. Go. This is uh, oh. certainly very interesting. So we got no refuge. Uh, so we were the barons. Then it looks like it's got like a moat around the glen, and then the refuge right in the middle, and then the tower is just a line <laughs> right to the top of the map. It goes off the off the scale. Okay, that's a thing. Well, at least you now have a layer of the land. So, let's have a look. Self-charging solar battery model N87, uh, one year warranty included. Oh, hell yeah. Simply place your self-charging battery in full daylight with the lens facing up. Uh, mm. There is no daylight. There is no daylight. Charges in seconds, no external power is needed. Troubleshooting manual. If the battery fails to charge, please check if the lens on the front side has not been dislodged during transport. One charge cycle will last about 10 days. Well, wow, that's a that's a really super efficient battery. Yes, though, how long has it been dark and how long has this battery been glowing for? That that's, It seems like it must have gotten a really good charge if it's holding it longer. Yeah, I know. How long ago did it go pitch black? It sounds like it's been a while, according to that robot. Robot, yeah. If you notice a decline in the charge cycle within the warranty period, please contact the manufacturer. Well, we don't know who the manufacturer is, so that's a thing. Another robot scattered about here. Oh, there's a note here. Uh, the use of a robot as our replacement head engineer seems unorthodox, especially the one responsible for the last year's incident. Ooh, I suppose they had to, to get her away from the city, but that doesn't make it easier to swallow. Uh, for those of us who work here, I hope that man knows what he's doing. Management. Yeah, that does sound a bit dubious. I mean, it's like, oh, engineer caused an explosion. Let's give him a new job. Okay, what's on the wall here? Oh, it's a faded poster. Reminder to all workers, the rarest form of blue phosphorus found during the phosphor shrimp spawn period. If you observe a pond with a bubbled over surface, please contact management immediately. It will just... Like we will dispatch a harvest team ASAP. Okay, that's... I'm guessing that's because they need to, like, hoard the phosphor because it's their only source of light. Yeah. It's a faded poster. Maybe that's how they charge the batteries. Hmm. Five new positions available at the mines. Housing and other provisions are included upon hiring. First come, first serve. Bloody hell, this world was desperate. Yeah. Making batteries that can hold some sort of charge for a good long while, mm. harvesting blue phosphor in the shrimp pools to charge the batteries because there's no light to actually charge them as intended. Hmm. Hmm. A page with faded ink. And then they need people to start filling in gaps of staff. Uh, able to provide power for all robots machinery in the area via a large electromagnetic field. Maintenance efforts are quite high as expected. We are providing Sounds custom... Like the internet. <laughs> we are providing custom... <laughs> <laughs> God's sake. 
<laughs> we have provided customised backup cells for the most important robots. Their electromagnetic fields are much weaker, but the signals are highly specific. In other words, these small cells can only charge one single... Hmm, the rest of the page is unreadable. Ah, okay. Oh, hello, what's this? That's a big machine! It doesn't seem to be doing anything, though. There's a rectangle-shaped hole in the middle. Looks like something used to fit in here. Okay. What's this? One single thing could probably fit in that machine. Yeah. Ooh, some sort of small machine. I wonder what it does. Ooh, I can feel my hair standing up a little. Ooh, okay. Better not touch it. That could be the small little thing that goes into the thing. There are a lot of small glowing shrimp swimming in the jar. Nah, that's the same as before. Okay, well, we can't do anything here for the time being. Um, mm, don't think we can interact with this. It doesn't look like it's hot. Mm, it won't turn on. No, it's not on. It's not on. It's not good enough. What are you doing? Okay, well, we've had these to explore. Whoa, hello. Let's, let's up here for now. There's nothing up there. In fact, let's go down here. Very ominous music. <laughs> okay, nothing around here I can see. Not as of yet. Okay, let's continue. Still quite ominous. In fact, it's worse. Ah! There's a there's a there's a robot head. Ugh, just the head. Yikes! Ugh. Oh my god, that face! Uh, don't freak Nico out. A little out. bit unnerved. A <laughs> little bit. Okay, what's this? Oh, this machine is still running. Seems like some sort of, sort of press. Maybe I shouldn't stand so close to it. What if my scarf got caught in there and then it'll pull me in and... Ah, that's a dark fool. Not gonna finish that sentence. <laughs> I'm not gonna finish that <laughs> sentence. <laughs> Probably the best thing. <laughs> Well, at least this kid knows what's up. <laughs> they were not shielded. <laughs> uh, They're real. <laughs> better leave that for the time being. Keep that in place in mind, though. Uh, what's this place, then? Okay, there's nothing on this side. And it keeps going up. Are those pool, uh, pools of, like, blue phosphor shrimps, then? They must be. You need to focus on one that's bubbling over, according oh. to the note. Speaking of notes... <laughs> Although the poisonous gas is highly localised to the vent zones, Baron's workers were still recommended to wear gas masks. These masks were mandatory around active vent sites, of course. As more and more the workforce got replaced by robots, we found ourselves with a surplus of abandoned gas masks. It seems like a waste to get rid of them all, so we kept a few for emergencies. That seems Safe. fair. Safe, resourceful, and uh, recyclable. God, what happened to these, this place? It's like a canyon. Better not fall off, Nico. Please. That's what I beg of you. <laughs> Think of yourself, but more importantly the sun, because then where you're going to be landing won't exist either. God. I am a little lost, though, <laughs> to be honest. You?! Oh god. Oh, hello. That's a lot of clovers. A robot. No power, just like the rest. Yeah, well, okay. Oh, okay, it seems like a building. Oh, hello. Oh, the light bulb. So, are you the messiah? That's what I've been told. I expected someone taller. Or at least someone that doesn't look like a kitten. A kitten? Really? I suppose it does make sense. That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat? Nuh-uh! 
I'm a person! You've got the eyes of a cat. But cats walk on four legs! Well, either way. That sounds like a touche to me. Yeah, bit. A child like you being the messiah. So I had to mute for a second. Just doesn't feel right. But that verbal back there says there's no mistake. I know. <sighs> this is going to sound cold, but... I honestly think you're better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. Ooh, dark. She might have a point, though. Yeah. The world has been falling apart for a long time. This manner of decay, it's highly improbable that the sun can fix it. You've already seen how bad it can get, right? We haven't seen much of anything, actually. Um, we can't really just leave. Oh, so you just got here? Then you must be headed towards the tower. Mm-hmm. It's where I'm supposed to put the light bulb. Uh, sun, isn't it? Yes, at the very top. We know that the tower contains a force that nobody could comprehend. And the power is strongest at the summit. Maybe it will send you back home after you complete your mission. Oh! Don't take my word for it, though. Yeah, that was only a maybe. Hmm. What's your thinking, though? <laughs> if there is a force powerful enough up there, it might be the deal. Yeah. Dear Silver, I heard the news about the mines. I'm sorry I can't imagine what you're feeling. It's been two weeks, I know it must be hard, but maybe it's better that you come back. It's only a matter of time for the robots. Robots, as in row the boat, bots? Sort of maybe that one in the boat? Maybe? That we saw when we first arrived, that seemed deactivated. <laughs> yeah. Then again, the generator's down, so... Mm. The robots are recalled. At least let me know you got my message, okay? Kip. Hmm. Wonder who this Kip person is. Well, this must be Silver, then. This must be Silver. Even though she's more of a... Even though she's more Scarlet. She's more Urza, Urza Scarlet. Scarlet. <laughs> you knew I was going with that. Yeah. But you did it in your... Uh, one shot let's play at one point anyway so <laughs> I know what you're meaning now yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah please do not touch that oh sorry I got curious what is this thing curiosity killed the cat yep let's not do that <laughs> backup power cell it keeps me functional the main generator for the barons ran out of power some time ago it could not even last a week without the sun Ew. sorry to hear that all we could do is make use of the light we have. Ooh. Explains all the lamps near these batteries. Yeah, I mean, we, like we saw before, um, they're like jars full of shrimps, so we can sort of know that they're phosphorus shrimps that produce the light. Hmm, this is some kind of power cell apparently. The word silver is written on the side. Yeah, definitely confirm this is silver. Why does it say that? Not yet. That's not important. Well, we get the impression. Okay. I like how she's like, nah, it's not important. Even though it clearly is, because she just said that it kept her functioning. Hmm. There's lots of tiny glowing shrimps swimming in this jar. Haven't I said this before? It's like she doesn't want to identify herself as silver. And lots of tiny shrimp that aren't glowing. Or swimming. Ooh. No way, I just refilled that two days ago. Oh god, she's shocked. Guess I'll make a trip to the shore later. Yeah, the, the phosphorus shrimps are basically dying on their own. Oh, that's so dark. Things aren't going very well for this world. <laughs> Something is poking out from this shelf. Ah, it's a screwdriver. You can take it if you want. It may help you. Oh, are you sure? Okay, thanks for that. Yes, I have many. <laughs> she has loads. Thank you! Thank Well, you we got a screwdriver. It's a photo of two people. The glass is a bit too foggy to see details, though. Okay, not much there. Oh, look! Oh my god, is that a tiny little bed? <coughs> how can she fit on that bed? Look how tall she is! She's huge. <laughs> I'm not entirely too sure if that's intended for her because she's a robot. A bed? Even though she tends... 
I don't know. She tends to speak a little bit differently than the robots we've already bumped into, though. Mm. It's like she talks like an old person. It's made of metal? Uh, I think it might be a little hard to sleep on you, Tim. Doesn't look very comfortable. Exactly. Also, she could not be wanting to associate because she's probably thinking that since the world wants to die naturally, she might be just saying, that don't matter. Yeah, just screw the world. Even though she says she's going to go to the shore to give us some more power anyway. Yeah. Ooh, a shelf of weird tools and pieces of metal. Let's talk to her. You know, we might get some info. What's inside the tower? I don't know. Nobody's ever entered it before. At least, nobody history knows. Then, who built it? Built? Nah. Uh, you say the tower wasn't built? As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. Ew. What, just some weird monolith that's just part of the... Land? I don't think planets are... Like May... I don't... Yeah, I don't think places are built like that. I know someone wanted to study it before, but... Oh? He never told me if it went anywhere. Ew. Okay. Wait, how do we make everybody know that... Someone's got to go up there to put a light bulb in. How does someone any? How does anyone know that there's a light bulb up there to begin with? Hmm. If no one's been in there, you were just told. Wait. Oh. Oh dear. I saw you heading towards this direction. The mines have been abandoned for a long time. I cannot guarantee that it's safe. If you must enter, it is my duty to accompany you at least once. Oh, thanks. Okay, I like, I like the way her footsteps are also uh, <laughs> illuminated. <laughs> oh, okay, well, I assume there's a shiny thing, so I thought let's have to examine that. There's a little gadget on the ground. It looks kind of like a camera. What's left of a camera anyway? Probably even parts of a robot at one point. Oh. <laughs> her face. Or not, I don't know. Just keep putting Nico on edge there, Silver. This is no biggie. Yeah. Speaking of edges. I can see a faint yellow glow in the distance. Don't stand so close to the edge. Oh, sorry. Yep, back away. It looks like even the entrance tunnel collapsed off. Ah, that's a bum. Without a vehicle, we can't proceed. Can't we walk? I can. But for you, it's a safety violation. I won't allow it. What's ahead anyway? UK. So I'm guessing we won't go down that way. <laughs> it's a huge network of underground mines, the source of its world's metal and non-phosphor fuel. This is what propelled the world into the industrial age. So now it's lost forever? It's been for a while now. When the sun went out, these mines were the first to be abandoned amidst the initial panic. Even the robots have been all cleared out and repurposed. That makes sense. Though there was a lot that was always insisted on going back. Okay, that's a thing. Oh? I hope he's okay. Who's this he? Hmm. How about the pronoun game? Give us names. This ain't Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, where's our keyblade? <laughs> <laughs> Do be careful in here. Okay, then less time to leave then. Ready to leave? Oh, uh, we just get chucked out at, at her house. Yeah, you walk backward. Okay, fair. Nico did. Jesus, dad. Bleh. Bleh, Nico. <laughs> Bleh, dear Nico. Bloody hell, I've already gone an hour already. Oh, hello. I mean, my, my first uh, session went on for about an hour and a bit, and I split into about three episodes, so... There's a safe here. Hmm, a metal safe. Seems like it's locked with a six-digit code. I don't remember seeing any six-digit codes. Do you, Georgina? Okay. I oh. don't know the code. Okay, uh, I actually have a little bit of a story here. That wasn't it. Right, okay, go. I have a little bit of a story here. It was when uh, Conor Mezzo was playing this game, actually. His game bugged a bit. Um, obviously, you're supposed to find a code. 
he, he found the code, it didn't work, and then the game, like, just randomly stopped working for some reason. And when he reloaded it, um, it actually loaded him up at a preset checkpoint, like, in case of it happened. And when he found the code again, it was a lot more plain, and it did work. So it must, like, sometimes maybe the code don't work. But I thought I'd mention that because it was pretty interesting, because I witnessed it. He was live streaming it. Oh, bloody hell. It's live streaming in this yeah. game, of all things. Yeah. I thought I'd share that little anecdote because that was pretty interesting. Because I never bumped into that. So where do you find this code then, of all things? Why don't you go explore it? <laughs> oh, hello, there's another bit of paper. Have I seen this bit of paper before? My son will not return and the abyss will, is calling my name. I'm sorry, everyone, for choosing to leave before the darkness suffocates all. Mm. Uh, does that Legit. is that a suicide note? Legit suicide note. I mean, look where you are. Okay, not thinking about that. Nico didn't even have any words to say about Nico that. Nico did not have words for that. She's just like, fair enough. <laughs> I know how it is. Did I already see this one? Yeah, I already seen this one. Yeah, you've read that one. That's about the vents and the masks and stuff. I think you got stuck on this bit actually before. Yeah, a little bit. I know sort of where to go. Right, let's go back into this building. Nico did mention there was a press machine in there. Oh, that's also a thing, yeah. Hang on. So we got a camera, broken camera with a large screwed in lens. Okay. I like the way it One needed a lens. Yeah. Did something need a lens? Let's try I don't know, maybe that? Use the screwdriver to pull the lens out? Okay. Uh done! Oh. There we are. Okay, we just got a lens. That worked. The rest of the camera was just dead weight. But it also broke the screwdriver, it seems. Yeah, so... Also, um... You know what? I wonder... Do you know when... Okay, I'm just gonna do something quickly here. Um... What are you doing? <laughs> just... Just just to say, look. Nico has a mind, a mind of her own, right? And considering that yeah. the fact she backed off and stuff, I wonder what she'll do... What she'll say about this? No! No! What are you doing? Georgina! I am not gonna smash the sun! Ah! Uh, hey, oh! Oh, you just got told! I got achievement! <laughs> Chaotic evil. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, okay. Game... I got an achievement for that. <laughs> the game will... Well, not the game, but Steam reward you for that. But I don't know if the game would have appreciated that. And you probably... Triggered Nico a bit there. Maybe. You chaotic person. Oh yeah, you can also go into the factory. If you have the light bulb equipped, she'll say, I shouldn't be standing this close with the sun in my hands. Well, consider I have a metal rod. Let's try something like this. Ah! Do you want me to crush the pipe in here, Georgina? Oh, but I don't want to get too close. Oh. <laughs> that was scary. Oh god, what did that give me? Oh, a uh, crowbar. Yeah, you bent the edge. Oh, just a tip. <laughs> I wouldn't go any further than that. <laughs> Not if I was you. I was. Get your mind out of the gutter. I was thinking of Smash, actually. Oh. It's a thing for, like, Lucina or Marv. Like, the, the, the best hitbox is at the tip of the sword. Hmm, this box looks interesting. I wish I had something to pry it open with. Ah, oh, but wait, you do. Yeah, you try and dig your way out of that one. <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. The reference is because that when you hit someone with the tip of Marth or Lucina's sword in Smash Ultimate, you do the most damage. This bar should open it. Oh, okay, that's what happens. There's a little metal cube and some broken glass in here. Looks like what used to be a machine part. It says solar battery on the side. Okay, we got a battery. I probably said on the note next to it. Yeah. Apparently a battery it has some broken glass in it. No, no. Think of that. I can't combine these. No, I'm gonna do that. I wanna do that. The lens pops right in. There we go. Empty battery. 
Now, now it's a solar battery. Let's try to do this. We're using the sun directly on the battery? I would have never thought of that. Good thinking, Georgina. Ah, looks like it's already fully charged. Oh well, that, that's quick. It, it charges up like super quick and yet yeah, it lasts for 10 days. How cool is that? I mean, you probably just slapped it against the sun. That's probably like why it instantly charged. It's probably got wet. You probably overloaded the battery. Anyway. No, some know. batteries have an have an overload sort of, uh, well, an anti-overload trigger sort of, sort of thing. So as soon as it's charged, it does it cap, it off. cap off. Yeah. Yeah, but this is the sun. That was fast. <laughs> yeah, she even she thinks the same. Okay, so we've got a charge battery. So what do we do? Stick it in the generator. Well, we've got a generator over here, so let's see what it does. Stick it in the whole thing. Uh, need to obviously equip. Let's hope the charged battery does something. Keep the generator going for at least 10 days. Oh. Well, that's a thing that happened. Whoa! Whoa! Ow! You said that at the exact same time. <laughs> I just got shocked. Oh, I got another achievement for that. Okay, fair enough. Probably stood there for too long. Maybe. I had to click though to get it. Um. So that should mean that if you just notice when you left there, all the robots in the area are now powered back on. Well, that one's not. What is that one? That could just be broken. A robot. It's beyond repair. Yeah, that might be one. Yeah. Oh, poor robot. It's fine. The others are back. We've got to slow down on the dialogue a bit. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well, that's broken, clearly, because that's... Oh, there's one. You didn't check the cat, the uh, the computer now. The power was restored. You just ran right past. I was, I was getting leading up to that. Uh, excuse me, I want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you stepped away. <laughs> or Nico stepped away. Jesus. I am functional. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's a thing. Huzzah. Running, 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 running. Okay. Oh God. Uh, I wonder if it's possible to get to the the bed. Back to the bed. If you do that, uh, the game did say that it would close yeah. down. So it's a safe. Well, do you think it'll be and a good time to cap off now? Do you know when the next uh, checkpoint is? Oh God. How long do you want to push? That's the question. Maybe. Plus, it also depends if you know. Nico's actually tired because she may not want to. Yeah, that's also a thing. You don't know when. Although I'm pretty sure I never actually. Oh, I can't uh, go past it. Had Nico sleep in the barren bed? I so think you might have I done. Don't, I think it's optional. I tried checking it earlier and I couldn't see me using it. I think it might be optional. Okay, well, uh, wrong building. But it's one of the few optional ones because I think you have to use all the rest of them. I think you get an achievement for using them all as well, and that might be why I didn't get one. Maybe. Right, here's the building. Okay, finding that time to check the computer. Oh. Mm. <laughs> you don't like this sort of thing, do you? <laughs> I see you've made progress in this world, Georgina. Game's talking to you. I like the way the music fades out. <laughs> but that progress stops here. I believe you need a code to unlock a certain box. Well, the code no longer exists in this world. Okay. What's it meaning? Do you understand what this means, Georgina? <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand what this means? What happens if I say no? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say yes. No, no. Because I actually do know what it means. Good. Start looking. <gasps> oh, great stuff. Okay. Basically what it means is that you have to start looking in your documents files. That's why I have um Our world, not the game's not world. Not the game Yeah, that's what it says not in this world, but it's in yeah. my Do you understand world. what that And when it asks you do you understand what that means, that is outside of the game. Yes. So that's like a subtle hint. Like do you know Hint hint. Do you Uh That's not it. There it is. Wait, that one. Oh no, a one shot no, document. One oh damn, it's right there. Look at the date and time. Uh, That's the date and time of when it happened now. So you can actually see how far in advance this has actually been done. There's no way to hide that. 
And obviously, if you've been watching up at this point, you would know why. Well, okay, it says, Dear Glitch, uh, message to you, I'm afraid I must make it brief. I have left you a journal, part of which is written in a language that... Let me try and decipher that. You will not understand at... I think this got corrupted upon trying to get, be put in your computer. Maybe. Uh, read it and you will know what to do. I have also left you a mask. Okay, it still looks glitched, but I can read it. Uh, look for the metal safe in the quarry to the east somewhere. Ooh. Between the Between ocean the region. and the lookout point. The code you need. Ah! That code, that's what we need. Alright, so let's, let's keep right. this up. So, oh God. going Don't. back to that story with uh, Merrill having his problem, what happened was is that he got this file, yeah? He typed that code that he was given, because it's I believe it's randomly generated. Um, he typed that in, in the safe that it's talking about, but it didn't work. Oh, wait, hang on. So the game kind of had a bit of a weird episode, so he tried to close down the game. But it crashed upon doing so, and then when he opened it up again and went for the code again, it gave him a new code that just literally was just, just a basic text box saying, okay, here's the code. <laughs> and that worked. So uh, apparently there's like some sort of failsafe, oh, like if it gives you the wrong code the for some reason. That's what happens. Okay, let's try this code. I like how I was able to actually tell the full story of that without spoiling anything, so I waited for the right one. <laughs> a metal safe. Seems like it's locked with a six-digit code. I don't remember seeing any six-digit codes. Do you, Georgina? Okay, so let's type in this code. So we got nine, five, nine, two, two, and four. Let's try that. Oh! Wow! It worked! Wait, how did you know the code, Georgina? Um, reasons? Things happen. I still don't remember seeing one. Uh, ooh, what do I say? <laughs> I mean, you you technically had help because the game gave it to you, but it couldn't give it to you like in the game. So, yeah, I suppose I can say I had help. Really? From who? Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you you can't, don't really want to be breaking her brain, do you? No. Uh, what's in the safe, Nico? Oh, right. Uh, let's see. Ah, I found a gas mask. Okay, that's neat. Also, there's this weird looking book. I mean, it did actually say it on the message. It says left you a mask. I can't read it though. Not that I can't read or anything, uh, because I can. I just don't know what language this is. Hmm. It did say that the it's written in a language you won't understand. Yeah, but is that talking about you or is that talking about Nico? Maybe you can understand maybe. it. Or maybe your computer would translate it? Ah! Uh, oh dear. What is that? Uh... What the heck? Okay, uh, let's just uh, ignore that for the time being. That does look a bit like, you know... Uh, something quite dubious. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's out of reach anyway, so I think we're all right. Pretty much. I, you know what? I keep forgetting there's a thing. Oh, it's in green. Okay. I think that means it's an equipable, so it can stack with other stuff. Found in the barrens, it's written in an unknown language. Well, okay. Uh, let's fast travel. Uh, oh, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Uh, let's go to... Oh, which one was it? It's not docks, is it? Oh no, I don't know. Uh, I, I think it was above the docks to use the mask. Is it still pot? Uh, you know what? Oh, is this the thing that I? Ah, right. Do I need to stop off here because it's it's getting a bit, you know? Or do you want me to continue? Do you want to stop? Do you want to stop for now? Good first episode. Yeah. Let's, let's see. But that's if Nico's right with it. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah. We can stop. Ugh, I'm a little tired from walking. Is it all right if I take a nap? Uh, yeah, okay, fair enough. And there you go, the game closes itself. To set that, I think that's a save point and a save point. Yeah, pretty much. I think I'm going to end off here, so thank you Scatling Sean for joining me today and thank you all for watching this episode of One Shot. Thank you for having me around, this is an experience that you do not want to miss.
If you liked what you saw here, if you subscribe on YouTube, you'll be notified when any future videos of this project, as well as any of my latest live streams are published. And if you follow on my Twitch channel, you'll be notified when our next go live. I'll be doing collaborations with OneShot along with other stuff, as, as you'll probably tell. If you'd like to, you can also join our Discord servers to hang out with us along with other social medias which are down in the description below. I would lastly like to give a special thanks to those who helped with all the voice acting of this project. It could not have been done without them. And all their links are down in the description too. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope to see you in the comments on YouTube and the chat in my next stream. And cut.